Oh, she's a very, very, very famous Mexican painter, and she did tons of self-portraits, which is why I have her up here. And the reason she did so many self-portraits is because she had a big accident when she was uh, 17 years old, a trolley accident, and broke her back. And so she was bedridden. And back then, they didn't have uh, the medical stuff they have now. And so she had like this body cast, which actually weakened her spine and kind of made it worse. But she was confined to her bed, and so her dad got this mirror so she could see herself in the bed, and she painted herself over and over and over and over again. So she did tons of self-portraits. So she's like the poster child for self-portraits. So why I've got her. And I found this awesome picture that's extremely colorful because we're kind of going to do something just like that. Very colorful, high contrast. See, it's black and white, and the white is the spray paint coming forward. We'll get to that. There's more about her. We'll get to her later. So here are your objectives. You can explore facial anatomy, eyes, nose, mouth, ears, chins, jaws, hair, hair lines, all that stuff. You can practice using the grid drawing system. Has anybody used the grid drawing system before? What is that? What is it, Kyle? The grid drawing system is pretty much like you have a grid. And you have, like, you put the picture on the grid and you pretty much draw it. Like, like say if you have the eye of one, like, in three of, three A or something like that, then you'll draw the eye in three A on your own grid. That's exactly right. It's a way to enlarge a small picture, the one I took, to a large piece of paper. Just like how that animated even easier, I've broken it down to black and white, so there's no shading. It's all high contrast. And then the final part is we're going to create an interesting ground using spray paint and stenciling. What's a ground? And don't say what you're standing on. Oh, shoot. What's an art ground? What's in the background? The background. Not the background, kind of though. The background. It's the surface you're working on. All right, so you're going to create an interesting surface. A lot of times painters will paint it a color, they'll paint it with gesso. Um, we're going to use spray paint and create a ground, like a textured surface, to paint on. All right? So, here we go. There's more of Frida. We just talked about her. So, so there's just two of the many she's done. Well, all right, there is that, and yes, we're going to get to that. She did that on purpose. Because why would somebody do that? Why would a woman do that to herself? What do you think she's trying to say? Who has mustaches? Men. Okay, so why would a woman put it on herself and exaggerate it? Women. Well, you got the men. You think she had issues with the masculine world? Yes. She did not like the way that the differences between men and women, because they're very unequal, especially a hundred years ago. There were that's what men and women could do, and their the expectations were very different. Would you agree? And so she did not like that, and so she fought that. And so she intentionally did this to herself, to masculine, masculine, masculine uh, herself, <laughs> right? To make a statement. She was making statements and rocking the boat way before it was cool. All right, who is that? That's another self-portrait. Who's, who's that's, that that man who that's the guy who cut off his ear, who has a name, Van and his Go. name is Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Oh, Kyle, two A's for the day, Kyle. Vincent Van Gogh. That was the person who invented the rock star, which is, does anybody know who that is? No. <laughs> he was very popular in the 80s. You guys missed so that boat, too. Um, he looks somewhat familiar. Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol. Oh, Andy Warhol. He did the Campbell Soup Cans, and he did hundreds of self-portraits of himself as well. Um, but he was the guy who said, everybody's famous for 15 minutes. That was him. All right. Who's that? Who's that? The greatest artist of all time. Pablo Picasso. Picasso. Picasso yeah. Now, why is his? What's different about his portrait? Yeah, big eyes. How is it different than this one or that one? Because he is out of proportion. What's the word for that? It's out of proportion. Abstract. He is the father of abstraction. Now it's harder to do than you think. We're going to get to that later, right, Colby? But he's the father of abstraction. All right, now here we go. Here's our project. You ready? All right, now it's your turn. That's Big Kenneth. Now I'll use Big Kenneth right here. Kenneth was not a very strong art student. That looks exactly like Kenneth. Did he draw that? He didn't just draw it, he drew it and he painted it, and it looks exactly like him. So, glad you're here. so, the reason I've got it as my very first one, because some of you, because self-portraits can be intimidating. Get through that. Kenneth can do it. You can do it. 
All right, now told Kenneth that to his face, and he agreed. And it kind of gave him a big self-confidence boost. So those of you go into this with a positive mind, don't look great. All right, so here's step one of our project. By your awesome art teacher, check. Then I did this to it. Edit your portrait to eliminate all values except for black and white. Thanks, awesome art teacher. They look great, by the way. They're right here. Oh, <laughs> All right, now, pay attention. This gets tricky. Enlarge your picture from 6 by 9 to 12 by 18. All right? Here's 12 by 18, and here's 6 by 9. I've got a video that's going to show you how to do that. Because your pictures are this big, and you're going to enlarge them. i got a video for that in a second. I'm just going to show you the whole process. Now, Kyle was explaining this is the grid process right here. Here's your small image. Here's your large image. You see the squares drawn across and the codes? So whatever is in that square corresponds to that square. All right, I have a video for this, but I want to give you a little preview. All right, here's a video right here. Now, before I show you this, I'm going to go through the whole project, and I'm going to come back to this video section. Okay? I've got a video on how to do the grid part, because some people need to know that. All right. No way. No way. I love it. It's my favorite slide. All right, you're going to create a spray paint ground, and then you're going to paint your image on top of it in black. All right? Now, here's a bunch of examples. Some of these kids still go here. Octavia still goes here. Grant still goes here. These look exactly like them. He graduated. I don't know who that was. That wasn't one of my students. They both graduated. That's Johnny G. Khalil. Kenneth again, Mallory. She still goes here. Let's see here. I don't know. All right, there's a bunch of them. All right, now this is my favorite part: what creating the ground. So here's what you're gonna do. You're going to cut three pieces, not four, not five, not ten, three. But the key to this is the different sizes. You want a small, medium, and large. Why do you want small, medium, and large? Why not all the same size? It takes up more space. It what? It takes up more space. It takes up more space. What else? It's creative. It's more interesting. It can be abstract, but it's going to make it more interesting. You have a variety of sizes and shapes. You can put the big one on the small one. You can put the small one in the big one. If they're all the same, they'll kind of cover each other up. All right? You're also going to keep the negative shapes. What's the negative shape? The ugly one. Nope. Like in this right here, what's, what's called positive space? Does anybody know? The inside. The inside. This is called the positive. So what's the negative? The green. So when you cut your shapes out, keep your cutouts because they repeat that shape and you can have repetition. And you'll see in my video how I use that. It's going to make more sense when you watch my video, which is right here. All right. So I got a video of how to do the spray paint, which is what you're going to start with today. And then I'm going to show you the grid part next. Capiche? Now, there's a couple blips in this video because when I was videoing this, I was doing it with an iPhone, and so I have to, you have to email video to yourself. So I stopped it every 30 seconds. There's a couple blips. Just pretend they're not there. You'll, you'll see. All right. I'm going to do spray paint uh, collages. And the way to do that is you're going to have several of your designs cut out of cardboard, keep your negative space, because you can actually reuse that later. You're going to have big, medium, and small pieces. Now, I'm a fan of skulls, so I did skulls. So I'm going to put one skull over there. I'm going to put the negative space for it right beside it. See that? Actually, I'm going to go over here with it on the edge. I've got this skull, which I'm going to put right here. I've got this smaller skull, which I'm going to fit right there. And I've got some of their negative shapes. I've, since I've got negative over here, I'm going to do negative over here. So I'm balancing it. So I'm fitting these guys together. Now I've got some tiny scraps, too. I've got that guy's negative space right there. I might put him right here. Um, the eye shape. I've got the eye shape right there. I kept everything. I'll do that right here. I've got the eye shape right there. Do that right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to spray and move. So I'm going to start with a 
color. Silver color. Actually, I'm going to start with the dark color. Of course, the green. And what you want to do is kind of pulse the spray paint. Do it. I'm leaving this area because I'm going to come, I don't want to cover it all. The pulse. I'm going to move my shades down there. And what you do is you shift everything just a little bit. Shift it, shift, shift it, shift it, shift it. Switch colors. Now this time I'm going to go a little bit of red. Less is more. It is uh, heavy in some areas, lighter in others. Now, before I get too carried away, I'm going to move some stuff down here. Put that there. Let's put this big guy over here. I'm going to flip this guy over and put him right there. Put this guy up here. His negative space, so I'm going to put it over there. The eye coming off of that, I'm going to put right there. Right there, you stop in between. Okay. I need something big in the middle. What can I do there? I'll just be careful. Now I'm going to go back with, this time I'm going to go silver. Actually, I'm going to go silver. There it is. Did limit you to lighter colors because if you use super darks, you won't see the black on there. Shift. I want you to get these little white edges everywhere. I'm going to switch to red and go to easy red. Okay. Essentially, what you're going to do is build up your surface with light colors. So I'm doing it nice and light because you're going to do a dark image on top. If it's too dark on dark, what will happen? You won't see it. All right, now we're going to do another major shift. I'm going to take them all off. You can see, even though I'm using skulls, they're kind of getting hidden, which is exactly what I wanted. All right, I'm going to use my big guy. I'm going to use him. him. Back down here again. So this time, I'm not going to put it on the edge. What? And put his negative space right up with him. Put him however you want. I like that. I love this skull. Put him over right there. His negative space, I'm going to put above him. His negative space over there. Line up with that. Put this eyeball right here to repeat it. Put two randoms down here just to break it up. You do want some white, but you don't want it. To you don't want it all white. And now before I do any more, I'm going to do a gentle shift and then silver again. Am I keeping track of how many moves I've done? Shift in, shift in. It's a lot, right? You do the same thing. Shift a lot. If you don't use enough shapes, it'll look like a bunch of spray paint. It won't look cool. It'll be like flat, like spray paint and paper by silver. That's what the negative space is. I'm selectively doing it, not just covering the whole thing in spray paint. Spray paint's cool, but it's not. You want to cover, do it. Now, take a break and see what you got. And if you need to keep going, you can. But if you don't, definitely stop. Okay. Now, you want it to be generally light, which mine is. I'm going to do dark on top of it, and you'll still be able to see me. So I'm going to stop right there, and that's how you do a spray paint collage. <laughs>